Hello everyone, Brian here with another quick tutorial. Today, we will be learning how to update your Rocky Linux system. First, we're going to tackle an important question. When should you update your Rocky Linux system? Let's break it down into four key scenarios. First up, critical security updates. If a major security vulnerability is discovered, don't wait around. Update your system as soon as possible to protect yourself from potential threats. Next, let's talk about regular maintenance. It's considered good practice to check for updates at least once a week. This keeps your system running smoothly with the latest features and bug fixes. Third, on our list, new Rocky Linux releases. When a new version drops, start planning your update. This ensures that you're taking advantage of all the latest improvements and long-term support. Lastly, we have special cases. If you're running a mission critical system or have specific requirements, you might need to follow a custom update schedule. Always prior prioritize stability and compatibility in these situations. Remember, keeping your Rocky Linux system updated is crucial for security, performance, and functionality. But it's equally important to update smartly and at the right time. Now, moving on to something equally important, when you should hold off on updating your Rocky Linux system. Let's dive into four crucial scenarios. The first scenario, mission critical systems. If you're running an application that absolutely cannot afford downtime, think twice before hitting that update button. Sometimes stability is more important than having the latest features. Second, let's talk about incompatible software. If you know your system or crucial ap applications are compatible, aren't compatible with the latest updates, it's best to hold off. Compatibility issues can cause major headaches and disrupt your workflow. Next up, the lack of testing. This is a big one. If you haven't tested the updates in a non-production environment, don't roll them out on your live system. It's always better to be safe than sorry. And finally, we have known issues. If the latest updates have reported problems, wait for these to be resolved before updating. Jumping in too early could introduce critical bugs to your system. Now that we've talked about when we should and shouldn't update our system, it's time to talk about the commands. We will be focusing on two important commands you should remember by heart. The first command, dnf check update and sudo dnf upgrade. Let's talk about DNF check update. DNF is a package manager used primarily in a Linux distro based on Red Hat. It's used to install, update, remove, and query software packages on the system. And here we have check update. And it's a command option in the DNF package manager that allows you to check for available updates without actually performing any installations or upgrades. Now on to our final slide we have sudo dnf upgrade or update. This command pretty much just executes all available updates within your system. So let's dissect it. First, we have sudo, which stands for super user do or substitute user do. It's used to execute commands with elevated privileges and allows users to perform administrative tasks without logging in as the root user. Sudo privileges typically last for about 15 minutes after entering the password, regardless of user activity or inactivity in the terminal. And the final piece to this puzzle is upgrade or update. Both these commands are subcommands of the DNF package manager. It instructs DNF to upgrade all installed packages to their latest versions. The difference between the two is minimal. They pretty much serve the same operation, so you can't go wrong with either. Now that we've learned the theory of all of these commands, it's time to put them to good use. Okay guys, let's boot up our machines and open up the terminal. Now, the first command I would like to run is dnf check update. And as you can see here, the command has listed all packages ready to be upgraded. Now on the left hand side, we have the package name and the middle is the version that's ready to be installed. And on the right hand side is the repository type. Now, there is one 
little neat trick I would like to show you. In a professional environment, there are cases where you just want to install one, not install, upgrade one package, and this is how we go about. We would just type in sudo dnf update, and you would type in your desired package name. In my case, I want to update yum.noarch right over here. Let's go ahead, type it in and hit enter. Now it's asking for the sudo password. I'm gonna go ahead and type that in. And of course, it gives us in a more uh, you know more details about our packages we're about to upgrade. Again, we have the package name on the left hand side. We have the architecture architecture type, the version that's ready to be upgraded, the repository, and the size of the packages. So for now, I'm just gonna hit no. And I'm gonna clear all this guy out. Now, just for the fun of it, I would like to run this command one more time just to show we're back here. Now let's say I want to update the whole thing. We're just gonna run sudo dnf upgrade or update up to you. You know what we can do update and hit enter. And same deal as before, it'll give us the package name, the architecture, the version, repository, and the size of the packages. So they're all ready to be upgraded. So next step is to hit yes. I want to update the whole thing. All right, I've decided to do a little time skip. Didn't want to keep y'all from waiting. Now Linux is asking if we're okay with importing this GPG key into our system. Now for those that don't know, the GPG keys are used to verify the packages that we're about to install or update are authentic and haven't been tampered with. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and hit yes. Now here, we imported our keys successfully. Now it's just running a few tests and now we wait. Okay, and we're back from the time skip. Now, if your terminal looks anything like mine here, congratulations, you've successfully updated your Rocky Linux system. We can tell because it says complete here and this just gives us an indicator that our system is ready to roll. And that concludes today's tutorial. Now, if you have any questions, concerns, suggestions, or even feedback, feel free to leave them at the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you felt like this has helped you in any way, feel free to drop a like on the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your support and have a great day.